A massive health care cyber attack last month continues to cause problems here at home. United Health's change health care processes, medical insurance claims and payments. Well, tonight, some of their systems are functional, but other aspects still need some work. Dylan Morello spoke to a cybersecurity expert who provided insight on the situation. Here at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, bill payment delays are affecting patients as a result of last month's cybersecurity incident. And while some systems like electronic billing at pharmacies is now up and running, local hospitals are still dealing with a variety of issues. In a statement, Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center said they are working to address the delays and that patients with questions or concerns can contact them. Catholic Health say they work directly with their payers for claims processing, but for those who use Change Health, they will be rerouting those claims to ensure stability in the revenue cycle. Still, cybersecurity expert Arun Vishwana says that this is a problem that needs to be fixed quickly. Change Health uh, processes one in three patients' data all across the nation. We never thought it would come to this scale. And so because of the scale of what's happened, one organization getting crippled and everybody downstream is impacted. United Health Group, the parent company of Change Healthcare, said they feel a deep sense of responsibility and are working tirelessly to ensure the providers can care for their patients and run their practices. Vishwanov says this is a tough situation for hospitals who in recent years have switched to primarily online records. We're so digitized in today's world. If one thing fails, the entire supply chain down the road fails. And this is what happened. This is why they're going to pay them or this is why they have paid them. Yeah. Right? So, so we are going to understand what these guys are after. They're after billing systems. They're after pharmaceuticals. They don't care about the data. They don't care about the direct cost. They want to keep those systems alive because then they get paid. The incident also continues to draw attention in Washington. Senators wrote a letter Friday to leaders at the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, along with the Department of Health and Human Services, to request enhanced contingency plans for outages within the healthcare ecosystem. What's our solution? Good cyber hygiene all across the nation. Everybody needs it, right? Companies need to do instant response plans and incident recovery plans. Mm -hmm. We got to build redundancies. We got to have backups. We got to believe that this is going to happen. If we believe this is going to happen, we start planning for it. Change Healthcare says that other systems should be online by mid-March. News 4 will continue to follow this situation and provide any updates on our website. Reporting at Roswell Park Cancer Center, Dylan Morello, News 4.